If you've ever wondered how this score is calculated, then this video is really for you. I'm gonna be breaking down the stats formula in the raw and giving you some examples and um, in order for you to understand this. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. So I talked to a developer, Revolves, um, thank you by the way, Revolves, um, to help me with this and he pulled the raw formula from, from, from the actual code. And the way that the formulas breaks down is that it's SD times SHR times self score divided by a flat value. SD is basically your score divided by your deaths. SHR is your score divided by how much time you've played. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, I thought the easiest way to explain this was to actually make um, basically a mini database of players and sorties. Here's a player, for example. And player number one is a pilot who gets a lot of kills. He's a very clean player. He's getting, I think, I think I calculated this to five fighter kills per per sortie. Uh, each sortie is 50 minutes. Um, and because he RTBs, his score is doubled. There's a modifier applied sorties, which looks like this. I got two kills, 120 points raw value multiplied by two because I RTB, so 240 points. So this, I broke this down and it calculates it out where I have SD and SHR and this guy gets about 26 million points, which is a lot. Now, what happens if this guy were to kill the same amount of planes, but it, take, it would take him three times as much time? Um, so I have this here and what it looks like is his total rating gets cut by two thirds essentially. And that's because the denominator in the SHR score has grown significantly. So he's taking quite a big hit. So the takeaway for this is you need to be killing things quickly in order to grow your score. Now, what if we got the same pilot as pilot number one, but he's trying to be cheeky and cut down on his flight time by not RTBing, so he's gonna ditch or bail out over friendly territory. Now, if you bail out or ditch over friendly territory, a modifier is applied to your sortie, and instead of doubling the score like an RTB, it actually takes away from the score. So bailing out is a 50% penalty, while ditching is a 20% penalty. And we see here that his stats are ruined in comparison to player number one, and that's all because he's not RTBing. So just let that sink in for a second. Now, what about a very aggressive pilot that's, you know, he says, okay, great, I'm gonna get as many kills as possible, uh, but because he's mixing it up on the deck, he ends up dying a lot and if he's dying essentially you know he's only RTBing 20 percent of the time a death applies a 100 percent modifier or takes away the whole score which is really really bad because even though he's dying and yeah his score is zeroed out he's adding time on mission to his stats so dying is the worst thing that could possibly happen from a stats perspective. You're not adding to your score, the nominator, and you're adding to the denominator. So your stats get worse. And we see here that um, he only RTBs twice, so his score is terrible. Now, what counts as a death? Bailing out an enemy territory or ditching a friendly, uh, sorry, uh, bailing out an enemy territory or ditching an enemy territory, oops, that was a mistake, an enemy territory from a stats perspective is essentially the same thing. So if you bail out, ditch, or die, it's all the same thing in stats. You, your, st your score is zeroed out for that sortie. Uh, if you bail out in friendly territory or if you ditch in friendly territory, then yeah, you take a penalty, uh, but it's not zeroed out. Now, what about these uh, stat patterns that are flying uh, J-52s? So this dude here has 10 sorties. He's flying a J-52 and uh, he has a huge score. So why is his score so high? 
his score is super high because essentially he's getting a free ace mission by resupplying a airfield. And the other thing too, which is really interesting, which I, I don't think a lot of people really talk about, is peak, especially for finish, is the J-52 spawn in the air. And the flight is a one-way flight. You're not taking off and going somewhere and then coming back. You're just going somewhere. And you already start at speed and altitude. So the missions are actually relatively quickly or quick. And um, it makes the denominator very, very small. So if you're always RTBing, because you, 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 know, you almost never get shot down flying a JU. Um, so your RTBing is almost guaranteed. You are um, having a very short flight time. And you're getting a very large value for your for your time. Your stats explode. Now I, I complained about this um, uh, uh, and some others as well because um, we thought this was kind of silly. So the developers on the Finnish server, and thank you by the way, devs, um, have cut the points in half for J52 runs, and. I think this is actually a pretty significant change. Um, some people kind of dismissed it and was like, oh, this, that's not a big deal. But it actually is. Because when you take the score and you cut it in half, it doesn't make the total rating go down by half. It actually cuts it down by almost uh, 90%. So here's the difference between, here's th this is uh, the same stat pattern as number pilot number five, but this is post finish nerf. And the calculated score is half. So what ends up happening though is because score gets involved in th three parts of a formula and they're all multiplied, it actually significantly cuts down on the total rating, in which you see here. Like I said, about almost ninety percent of his score is gone, uh, just because the 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 reward from doing J fifty two runs was cut in half. Now, what else can I tell you that'll be interesting about stats? Uh, we have pilot rank ratings here. This is not really a big deal. You know, you can flip through here. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you about, which I personally find interesting, is um, looking at how people fly and what they're flying. Um, I think that some of the most interesting stats are actually in here. So here, actually, this guy's just flying transports. It's not really an interesting one to look at. Um, so, you know, we see someone who's mostly flying attackers. Uh, great. So for attackers, what would be an interesting stat to look at? How about ground kills per death? This is an interesting one. Ga ground kills per aircraft lost or per sortie uh, per hour flight. These are interesting stats to look at. For someone who flies fighters, here's Tempe. Uh, he's on a really good streak. Tempest is one of the best pilots I know um, and in all games. And I'm happy to fly with him. Um, you know, he has a really good KD ratio. He, um, you know, his Kills per aircraft loss is also really high. He's getting kills per sortie. And look how many kills he's getting actually per hour, um, which is really, really good. And uh, you can see here, you know, again, he mostly flies fighters. Um, so I actually find that these stats down here for either, you know, you should look here, if I'm mostly fighter or bomber. And then looking here, I find this to be really interesting and the most telling sign, I think. Um, I kind of a little bit ignore the total score now because it's so inflated with the transports. Um, you know, and I fly transports too, by the way, like I, I, I do it sometimes. I have 13% of my sorties are, are transports, um, but I try not to do it too much. I'm actually taking a break from doing it um, because I, I don't want it over 15% because I think it just gets a little bit silly after that. Um, and now, so, you know, we had this calculation. Uh, what about for squad rankings? We did a little bit of testing in my squad. Uh, we took people, we added people in and took them out and saw if we could grow the number by taking people out of the squad. And uh, the short answer is your stats do not get hurt by adding people, um, which is great because that would be really lame if, if, if that was possible. So basically, if you have friends, th throw them into your squad. Um, and uh, my guess on this, I wasn't really able to look in the, in the raw code, is that it just basically takes all of the pilots and it just adds their score up. Um, there's tank stats. I don't really know how these work. I'm assuming it's the same formula, but it's just for ground. Um, oh my God, look at this guy. Um, so, you know, I don't really look at this too much. I just assume these guys are all just killing AI. Um, and 
Beyond that, the other thing to keep in mind is the stat system, the, the actual sorties, which you know you can see here, these get updated after the, the there's a reset on the server. So if you kill someone and you're flying around, you're like, I wonder who I killed and you all tap and check, it's not gonna work. You have to wait until it's updated. Um, there's also awards, um, which I don't, I don't personally really care about, but some people do. Um, the awards are, in, you know, they, they they all mean something. Like, you know, okay, I did fifty sorties of transport plane, or uh, fifty ground target kill. You know, whatever you can read about these, you just hi highlight your uh, mouse over it. Some person on the Finnish server, actually, I think was aggregating what these all really mean. Um, there's allied ones too, uh, but I don't I don't really look at this all too much. Um, there's virtual lives. Um, basically your past lives are here so you can go see how many sorties, how long they were alive. I think this is actually kind of cool. I, don't, I feel like I should spend more time here looking here, but I, I don't too much. Um, and there's the kill board. Now the kill board is, um, it's, I go back and forth on it. Cause on one hand it's like, oh cool. Like I killed this dude three times and he didn't get me. But on the other hand, you have no idea if he was flying bombers or if he was flying a J-52 around and I just shot him down. So I don't really try to look at this too much. Um, when you go into your sortie stats, um, you know, you can click sortie log and you can see who you shot down. Um, if you damage someone and don't shoot them down, it'll tell you. So if you had a really good fight with someone and you weren't, you know, and you were, you were like curious, like, oh, I wonder who that guy was, you can go check your sorties. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that you can go into sortie log. I've it actually took me a couple of weeks to actually find out about it because um, I, I just randomly saw it. But a lot of information is actually in here, which is helpful. Um, those are pretty much the big topics I wanted to cover. I hope you guys found this helpful. This took a really long time to break down and to figure out. So if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making videos and I hope you guys have been enjoying watching them. Um, I will be sharing the stat system so you guys can play around with it. You can just uh, make a copy for yourself and all of the formulas are in here. The only thing that you need to do is you, make, you need to make sure you change the result modifier um, because if it's RTB or death or whatever, I could have probably maybe coded that, but you know, it's Saturday morning, whatever. Um, you know, if you just make make this change and then uh, everything will be updated here and you can kind of get an idea of, uh, of what stats could look like. Uh, so thank you and everyone have a great weekend.